Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to Photo Show. Just over a month ago, Nikon made a development announcement about a new camera they were bringing out, the Nikon D850, which was to be the replacement for their D810 model. Now at the time they released very few specifications, the only thing we had to go on was a short video which showed that the camera was going to have an 8K time lapse feature. But apart from that, everyone was left guessing about what the possible specifications for the D850 was going to be. So I put together a video at the time which was what I felt the uh, D850 would possibly have as its specifications. We now have the full specifications for Nikon, so I thought it'd be a really good time to go back, look at what we said in the original video and what the actual camera contains now. Remember if you like what you see on the photo show, please comment, like and subscribe in the boxes below. Let's have a look at the full specifications for the Nikon D850. Okay, starting off with the sensor. Now we always knew that the D850 was going to be a full frame sensor. The D810 was a full frame sensor and as its successor the D850 was going to be a full frame DSLR camera. The megapixel size was the question. There were a lot of uh, rumours going around that Nikon were going to really blow it out of the water and put in something like an 80 to 100 megapixel sensor. I personally didn't feel that. I thought that that would make the camera too much of a specialist item. So as you can see here in the original video I predicted that the Nikon D850 would have a 45 to 50 megapixel sensor. We now have the uh, specifications for Nikon and I can tell you that the Nikon D850 has a full frame 45.7 megapixel sensor. So let's call it 46 megapixels. So tick to me that we were uh, virtually bang on with the size of the megapixel rate for the new D850. ISO range. Um, I predicted that the Nikon D850 would have an ISO range of ISO 64 to ISO 51200. Turns out I was slightly wrong on this, it is an ISO range of 64 to 25600. So it's one stop less on the high end of the ISO. But again, I'd still like to see camera manufacturers start to bring the ISO down lower. 64 is great, but I'd love to see a camera manufacturer bring a camera out that has you know, 50, 25, a much lower ISO range at the bottom end. But there we go, so I predicted that the ISO range would be ISO 64 to ISO 51200. Turns out the ISO range is ISO 64 to ISO 25600. Shutter speed, I predicted in the original video that the Nikon D850 would have a maximum shutter speed of 1 8000th of a second. Turns out that was correct, the maximum shutter speed for the D850 is 1 8000th of a second. It's fairly typical in this kind of range of cameras for that to be the high end, so that wasn't too much of a guess really, but um, the maximum shutter speed on the D850 is 1 8000th of a second. I also predicted in the, in the original video that the D850 would shoot at around 10 frames per second, because I thought that would bring it in line with the uh, crop sensor D500, but not compete too much with the flagship D5. Now we have the full specifications, I can tell you that the Nikon D850 actually shoots at 7 frames per second, but with the addition of a battery grip it will shoot at 9 frames per second. So my guess at 10 frames per second wasn't that far off. So the full specifications are body only the Nikon D850 will shoot at 7 frames per second. With the additional battery grip it will shoot at 9 frames per second. Autofocus. Uh, I predicted in the previous video that I felt that Nikon would bring in the autofocus system that is used on the D5 and the D500 which would give you 153 autofocus points 99 of which would be cross type. We now have the full specification and he shoots his scores! Um, the uh, D850 does indeed have the same autofocusing system as the D5 and the D500 so it has 153 autofocus points 99 of which are cross type. Viewfinder. Now there were a lot of rumours going around the internet that Nikon had developed some kind of hybrid viewfinder for the D850. That it was going to be some sort of hybrid between a, an optical viewfinder and an electronic viewfinder. That somehow we were using the pentaprism to project an electronic viewfinder over the optical viewfinder image. I didn't think that Nikon were going to do anything that experimental with this camera and it turns out I'm correct. The Nikon D850 has an optical viewfinder with 100% view coverage. Another prediction I made on the original video is that Nikon was going to add a tilting touchscreen on the back of the D850, similar to the one that's used on the D500 and the D7500, and this again has proved to be true. The uh, Nikon D850 has a 3.2 inch tilting touchscreen on the back of the camera, so the same touchscreen that's used in the D500 and the D7500. Storage wise, now 
the Nikon D850, being a full frame, a large megapixel camera, was always going to need a lot of storage. And in the original video, I predicted that the camera would have two card slots. And I thought it would have one SD card slot and one XQD card slot to be able to cope with the, the large file sizes that the camera is going to be producing. Looking at the specs that have been released from Nikon, the camera does indeed have two card slots. One of them is an SD card and the other is the XQD card. So we've got another one right there as well. So uh, we're not doing too bad here. We're only out on the, so far on the ISO. So let's move on. Video. In the original video, I, I predicted that the Nikon D850 would be able to shoot 4K video. But I thought in line with previous Nikon cameras that it wouldn't use the full frame of the sensor, that it would use the central part introducing a crop factor if you were shooting 4K video. Turns out I was wrong. It actually does shoot 4K video, but it uses the full frame. So this is Nikon's first camera, uh, full frame camera that will shoot 4K video using the full sensor size. So that's a huge plus over what I expected. I really expected a crop factor to be introduced, but no, we've got the uh, 4K video using the full um, full frame sensor. And lastly, the, the one thing that we did know about the D850 from the uh, video that Nikon released was that it would shoot 8K time lapse. And indeed, it does shoot 8K time lapse. Um, in camera, it's capable of shooting a 4K time lapse, but it also has the capability to shoot an 8K time lapse, which can be exported out afterwards. Connectivity wise, the D850 is going to have Wi Fi and Bluetooth, which is fairly standard across you know, most cameras these days. The camera is actually going to be released in September. I think it's September the 7th is the release date in the US and the UK. Price wise, in the UK, the D850 is going to retail at £3,499, so £3,500 roughly. And in the US, it's going to be $3,296, so $3,300. So, you know, I think what Nikon have done here is they, they've expanded out what the D D810 was. The D810 was an excellent camera um, used by a lot of wedding portrait photographers and landscape photographers that wanted to utilize the big megapixel and full frame sensor. And I think with the addition now of things like the um, faster frame rate, it's opening up to other markets. I think you'll probably get wildlife photographers interested in using the D850 as well. But there we have it. That's the specifications now for Nikon's D850. As I said, it's available as of September 2017. But for now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Thanks for watching. See you next time.